Hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a blackberry and brie omelet. Cue the music. Alright, well thanks a lot for being here. Like I said, we're going to be showing you how to make a blackberry and brie omelet. So let's drop down here and see what our ingredients are for this. All right, we got two medium eggs. We got a teaspoon of olive oil, a third pint of fresh blackberries, seven ounces of brie cheese. We're not going to use all of it. And then two teaspoons of honey. Let's start cooking. All right, we got the brie cheese. All of our other ingredients are over by the pan where we're going to be cooking. But I want to just show you the brie cheese. You can cut this layer off. It's edible, but for purposes of aesthetics, I wanted to show you the cheese. Um, you can use a microplane or a, a grater and you can shred this, but I, I'd like to throw it in the freezer for a while to get it hard. This is a semi-soft cheese, so it's kind of hard to do that. But for the purpose of this, um, what we're doing today, I'm just gonna slice it really thin. Enough for the inside of the omelet and the outside to cover it. Maybe one more here. But that's the cheese right there. There are many very, very different ways of using the brie cheese. There was a restaurant I worked at where we covered it with phyllo dough, buttered it up with butter, put it in the oven and it melted, and then you'd serve it with fruit and crackers and it was just, it was just incredible. A lot of that for appetizers. But uh, I'm going to put this in the omelet. So this is how you do it. You can shred it, like I said, to make it more spreadable inside the omelet. But uh, I don't have my microplane with me or I would have shown you how to do that. But this works just as well. All right, like we always do, we're going to show you our mise en place and our equipment. We have our pan. We're going to cook the omelet in. we got our eggs and our, res our blackberries, all the oil and the salt and pepper, cheese, and the honey, and our tools back there, the whip and the spatula that we're going to need to make this omelet. So we're going to drop down and focus on our pan right here. I will zoom in, get the shot set, and we'll start cooking. Alright, you get a medium, medium high heat. You add your olive oil. Let that get hot. Meanwhile, I'll back out of the shot here and we'll focus this way. eggs right here. We're going to go ahead and just pop those right into our little dish here. Add some salt and pepper to it. Whip those really well. Our pan and our oil are getting set. So we'll focus on our pan again here. Just going to throw our egg mixture right into our pan. And we want to let this cook and as it's cooking we want to make sure that we're bringing the inside rim of our omelet into the middle so the eggs that are not cooked can start cooking to where they slide over. As you can see we're pulling the middle of the omelet or the edge of the omelet into the middle. You can also tilt your pan as well. And do it that way. You basically want to get your omelet to cook by allowing the raw egg to get to the surface where it can't cook. Now I'm going to back out because we're going to flip this puppy. There we go. Once you do that, you turn your heat off. I'm going to throw, whoops, I'm going to throw some cheese on half of this omelet. I forgot to show you the omelet, or I forgot to show you the blackberries being cut. So we're just going to go ahead and throw our blackberries right in there. I'm just going to slice them up small, little bite-sized pieces. Put that right in there, let that cheese melt and the flavors to blend. One more in there. 
All right, we got our omelet all set. I'll zoom in on that real quick. That's our omelet. I'm gonna take it over and plate it. So let's go over there. All right, then we got half of our omelet in the pan that we did. So we can just take it and flip it right onto our plate like that. Put the other cheese that we had for it on top, like we said. Now you can put more blueberries on this, on the top, if you want to make it pretty. Remember what we've discussed in other omelet shows is you kind of leave the toppings or the, the filler on top so when you've got a full plate of uh, food in the window at a restaurant, the waitress knows which omelet to take because otherwise you've got 20 different ham and cheese omelets up there, western omelets, ultimate omelets, whatever kind of omelets you want. On the menu in that restaurant, sitting in the window and the waitress is not sure which one is hers. So you make sure that you've got the toppings on the top of the omelet so it's identifiable. Now I got the honey and I'm just spreading this over the top of this omelet. We're going to melt this cheese and we're going to be taking a photo shoot of this and then we're going to come back and we're going to taste it. Don't go anywhere. See what it looks like. And a little angle here is kind of weird, but we're going to show you right down the middle. We'll just split this open, kind of show you what that looks like in there. You got that melted cheese with those raspberries. Now we're going to give this a taste. Got our bite right here. Right off the bat, smooth, creamy egg, that blackberry in there, that cheese is just creamy and just blends in so well with that fruit. And then you get that honey right over the top of it. It brings out a lot of sweetness as well. This is a different omelet, definitely not for the carnivores, but very, very good. Get a nice shot of that, I don't know. Hmm. Another thing I notice is that blackberry has got a little bit of a bite to it, mouthfeel, whatever the, you want to use it. It's uh, got a little crunch to it, so it's kind of cool. It adds a little texture into the omelet as well because everything else is just so creamy. This is very good. I'm going to eat the rest of this. The recipe is on my website, www.itsonlyfood.biz. Don't forget to check that out. Thanks a lot for being here. Take care of yourselves. Have a good day. See you again. Bye-bye.